Hi all, welcome to the new episode of Tech Insert. Today we are going to assemble a 3 channel LED chaser circuit using CD4017 decade counter. Most of the circuit is exactly similar to our previous 10 channel chaser model. The link to that video is given in the description box. This is the complete circuit diagram of 3 channel LED chaser model. You can see the clock pulse generator is assembled using triple phi as a stable multi vibrator. And we are only using the 3 channel from the 10 channel output of CD4017. Fourth channel that is pin number 7 is connected to the reset pin of the IC that is 15th pin. When the counter reaches 7th pin again it will start from the uh, first output that is the beginning. By using the reset pin you can create any number of output channels and maximum of 10 channels using one IC. As I told in the previous video assembling the circuit is simple but making the LED pattern is a tough job. Here we are using 6 LEDs parallel in each channel. If you have a big circle then increase the LED count. If the LED count is so huge then you must use a LED driver using, tra using a transistor. These are the components used for assembling this LED chaser. I have made this as a generic one. So I gave the male PCB connector to the 10 channels and also soldered a uh, connector to reset pin. This is the trigger input pin which is connected to the 14th pin of the IC and these all are the output pins. This is ground, this is positive and this is actually a capacitor connected across the power supply and this will act as a filtering capacitor. These are the 10 output pins 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have completed the circuit and also given the connections to the LEDs. Let's first test using a 9 volt battery. The brightness of the LEDs are a bit less because the 9 volt battery we are using is an old one. So its voltage is very less. We can connect this to a 12 volt supply. We have connected a common 1K resistor in series with the LEDs. This is the 1K resistor and if you are connecting one more 1K in parallel to the existing 1K then the effective resistance become 500 ohm then brightness will be a bit high. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet please click subscribe button. Press the bell icon so that you will get the notification whenever we upload a new video. I can feel the 1K resistor is warming. This is because the white LEDs are consuming more current. We can think of connecting the LEDs in series so that the current consumption is reduced. Next time I will be connecting it in series. We have used the same LEDs which we used in our previous video. The link is given in the description box and also as information link. Please watch that video too. I will switch off the light in my room so that we can watch the LEDs brightness clearly. Try this at your home. If you have any suggestions, please comment on this video so that we will know that. If you like our video, please click like button. If you do not like our video, click dislike button. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please click subscribe button. Press the bell icon so that you will get the notification whenever we upload a new video. This is Tech Insert signing off. See you in another video. Till then, goodbye and please take care.